Hello and welcome back to Drive on the Wild Side and today I'm going to be talking about what I think is going to be the next country that is going to attract enthusiasts to buy imported carts. The country in question is South Africa. Now this place might surprise you, however there is so much more South Africa than just wildlife and culture. The car that immediately sparked an interest in South African cars for me was this P100 pickup truck. It's based on the Ford Cortina, it's rear-wheel drive, and it comes with an SX V6 from the Ford Capri. This was only built in South Africa, and recently people have started importing them. And, best of all, they are pretty cheap. I mean, six and a half grand for something like this is absolutely incredible. So have I piqued your interest so far? Well, if not, I'm going to list some of the pros and cons when it comes to buying these cars. The buying a car from South Africa. Rust free. It's dry climate, which is pretty good if you want to buy a very clean classic car. This is due to the fact that they don't use salt on the road in South Africa as well. And if you look on a lot of classic car ads that are imports from South Africa, you'll probably notice that a lot of them say that the body is rust-free. They're cheaper than the European equivalents. To put this into perspective, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look through these classic car ads. In this case, Ford XR3, a car that I would love to have one day. And look, here are two. Eight and a half grand. Let's look at this one. 57,000 kilometers, that's about 35,000 miles, eight and a half grand, and South African import. The right hand drive. If it's 40 years old, then you don't have to pay any tax or get it MOT'd. Parts are available in Europe. I mean, most of the cars you can import from South Africa were also built in Europe. And you can buy versions such as the P100 pickup truck pictured here that weren't made in Europe. I'm now going to show you a few examples of some cars that are only made in South Africa. The BMW 325i S, the BMW 333i, which have a 3.2 litre engine, and my personal favourite, the Volkswagen City Golf GTI, which was basically a Mark 1 Golf GTI produced well into the 90s. Now, before you run down to your local doctor with a wad of cash in your pocket, now, I want to tell you about some of the cons that you must consider before buying any of these cars. Well, they need to be brought up to UK spec. So basically what that means is you need to get the right UK spec parts, like you need to get UK spec lights, you need to get UK spec tyres and UK spec safety equipment. I mean that could set you back a bit of extra, a bit of extra money but trust me it's so worth it. They need mods to handle the climate, so it's a lot colder and it's a lot wetter, so what you're going to need to consider is you're going to want to under-seal the car so it doesn't rust, and you're also probably going to want to upgrade the heater matrix so well, you can stay warm during the winter. Shipping is extremely expensive. Duties need to be paid and paperwork needs to be completed to import the car. And the car actually has to be registered with the DVL or local registering company. Also, after you buy the car, you should really go and have it checked over by a professional mechanic to see if everything is structurally sound and that there are no dodgy repairs. So with that all out of the way, I'm going to show you three brands that I think have the best selections of South African imports. Now a lot of companies actually set up shop in South Africa back in the 60s and 70s and for example Ford are still doing it today. In fact the Ford Ranger is actually built in South Africa. One car that's particularly popular as an import from South Africa is the Cortina. They are getting super expensive in the UK. However, this one was from South Africa. It's a 1978 four-door it needs a bit of work, but it's less than £5,000. In fact, here's an equivalent one that also has 1.6 litre engine, but it's double the price. Same car, your choice. Again, a Mark II Ford Escort is worth 
loads in the UK. I mean, here's one. Although this one, South African imports, 7,250. And it's only done 65,000 miles. Here's an equivalent one, 13,000 pounds. Now, Alfa Romeos are well known for being quite expensive. However, I spotted an ad recently. It's this one here, the Julia TI. Now, this is a 30 grand car here in the UK. However, this one's right-hand drive, and it's 21,000 pounds, 10 grand less. And it's from South Africa, so it has something that most Alphas don't, which is a rust-free body. Now, the most popular import in South Africa is actually this, the Volkswagen campervan. And here's one I found from South Africa, £7,500, 65,000 miles, but it's got some corrosion that might need to be dealt with. And it's, it says it's for the MOT, but actually, it's 1971, so it doesn't actually need an MOT. So, there you go. There's loads and loads of deals out there for so many interesting and cool cars that you can get for much less than normal. I mean, this is a really good way to get into a clean, classic car on a budget. So that, ladies and gentlemen, concludes the video for this week. Thank you very much for watching, and seriously, consider getting one of these cars and let me know if you've got one. So, thank you very much for watching, please like and subscribe for more in the future, and until next time, goodbye.